from 1st of November till uh, the 9th of January I'm going to be walking the length of New Zealand. Um, the majority of it will follow State Highway 1, um, except for when we get to, to Rotorua, we'll go Rotorua to Taupo and then across to the Hawke's Bay um, coming out at Palmerston North. Um, so basically I'll be walking the length of New Zealand um, for 70 days, 1st of November, 9th of January, um, raising awareness and some money for cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a hereditary condition which more than 400 New Zealanders have. Put simply, CF affects the protective linings of mucus and various major organs of the body which often causes infections of the lungs. CF also causes an inability to digest food properly using the body's natural enzymes. Unfortunately, there is no known cure for the disease and the life expectancy of someone living with CF is between 20 to 35 years. Emma saw the need in funding for research of CF and also a need for raising general awareness of CF in New Zealand. I've got a very good friend with cystic fibrosis and, and I've known her for sort of over 10 years and just to, to have that friendship and to um, you know sort of see how life is for her um, kind of it, it's deeply impacted me actually um, to the extent where I would <laughs> go and do something crazy like this. Um, and uh, just in casual conversation and amongst uh, a stream of other things that she was talking about. She said, oh, and did I tell you about the walk? And I said, what walk's that? And she said, well, I'm walking the length of New Zealand. It's like, you know, say that again. <laughs> and even, I suppose, I get inspiration from people who tell me that I can't do it and that it's stupid and, and that I'll never be able to do it. That really inspires me to, to go on and, and sort of, I don't know, prove them wrong. A little bit concerned, I'd have to say. You know, it's a mammoth task. and um, But uh, very... Uh, very proud of her to be thinking about what she's um, embarking upon and uh, yeah, supporting her with that. Yeah, my mum's really supportive and my dad's kind of the the, the guy that sits back and, and thinks things through and, and sort of have you thought about this and stuff. So it's really good that sort of work um, as a team. Um, when I was um, planning this walk it was it was just a small scale and I was going to just um, just do it for the heck of it and, and say, oh, to assist my process, here's some money. So originally what I was going to do was just... Um, take a tent and just sleep on the side of the road and just kind of walk to where I got to. Um, but since then, since CF has gotten involved, it's, it's really escalated and uh, we've got uh, a hotel sponsor. Oh um, wow. Yeah, so so in the major towns I'll, I'll get to stay in a hotel, Flash Hotel, um, and also um, sort of staying with families in the towns that I'm in, so families associated with cystic fibrosis or um, you know, families that I know. Um, I've also fortunate enough to stay with a couple of MPs, so that's quite good for a political geek like me, so yeah. Currently in my second year at Victoria University, I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and International Relations, and a Bachelor of Science in um, Development Studies, with a view of doing post-grad study, um, Masters or something like that. So. I'm a education aquatic education instructor at uh, Tawapul, so basically that means that um, I go there and, and try and teach them to swim and just um, improve these skills, um, so I do that a couple of hours a week. Um, and on a sad day, I'm really fortunate to get to um, work with water babies, so sort of six months to three years, um, so working with them and their, their parents. Um, soccer, uh, this is my second season of coaching up at Tawa College. Um, I'm, a, I'm a former pupil at Tawa um, and played soccer and travelled to Scandinavia and Australia and all over with, with football, so I'm really grateful for that opportunity, so that's why I've sort of come back to um, to contribute, I suppose. So yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm <laughs> there, rain or shine. <laughs> um, yeah, helping helping out the girls and, and just having a good time. So it's, it's really good. Yeah. Um, I've just recently received my um, my new program, which is a 12-week program, um, and that sort of entails training every day. Um, so I have um, a combination of sort of flexibility training, so sort of Pilates or something like that, just to give the body a bit of a rest. Um, I also have um, you know, endurance, so different distances. Um, some days I can go for a run, others I'll go for a short walk or, or a walk for a couple of hours. So the program gradually increases in distance and intensity and sort of, um, you know, increases in plateaus. So pretty excited about that. Yeah. I'll be walking uh, between 40 and 50 kilometres a day. Um, I intend to do that between sort of the hours of 8 and 6. Um, yeah, with, with breaks in between, but the majority of the time I'll just be walking by myself. Powering along. <laughs> I sort of set out on this walk to 
raise awareness, yeah, and also to raise money. Um, and and I didn't do it for recognition, you know what I mean? And and I just did it to, to help someone. I saw that there was, you know, a need for something. Something needed to be done, and I thought, yep, I can do that, um, or I hope I can do that. Um, and the way this has sort of evolved um, in terms of publicity is quite unsettling, um, I suppose. I'm quite quite shy, quite introverted, really, <laughs> and um, and the prospect of, of having uh, media with me is is really daunting, um, and and something that I wasn't very keen on. Just um, you know that the people might get the wrong idea that that I'm doing this, you know, for my own personal gains, or I'm only doing it so that I get recognition, um, which is completely not what I'm about. But um, through talking to some good friends of mine, um, and praying about it and stuff like that, it's kind of. I've come to the realization that in order to um, you know raise awareness, there needs to be a certain element of publicity. Also, the Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Week is in August, so this will be um, a major headlining thing of the of the Awareness Week. So I've got this this website on the Fundraise Online site, yeah. um, and basically just go to the Fundraise Online website, um, Google search that. <laughs> so it's dot dot I presume so, yeah, and um, and type in my name, Emma Dakin. D A K E N, <laughs> and um, my page will come up, and just click on it, and down the bottom there's the option of uh, make a donation. And please leave me a message as well. <laughs> it's really <laughs> encouraging. The current goal is fifty thousand, um, and anything above and beyond fifty thousand will go into a tertiary fund, which kind of allows um, people will see if the opportunity to go and study it at tertiary um, institutions. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I always joke about saying I'll, I'll swim the cook straight after this or something like this. Um, I don't know. I'd, through this process, I've I've definitely learned a lot. I've I've met a lot of people and, and you know sort of heard their stories and and just you know been humbled by by what people um, feel that they can open up and tell me and just and this whole experience has been brilliant and and I'm really I don't know what life will be like post walk um, just because this. This event takes up so much of my time and, and it's just so rewarding yet, yet challenging and tiring all at the same time. Um, I'm sure in the future I will I will have more to do with, with charity, particularly CF. Yeah. That's good.